fascinating. Now, how does this signal or perception of dissatisfaction from Labour play in the political space? Oh, it is incumbent upon government uh, to address it uh, head on. Failure uh, of which they won't care, government won't care the rough of labor unions, the more. Uh, now, you will not have uh, much impact. But if it drags and government, all the, the, the calls that you are making fall on deaf ears, I'm afraid. Uh, it will have serious implications on uh, voter choices relative to what uh, unions, uh, because a hungry man is always an angry man. Mm, that brings me to my next question. So will this affect the fortunes of the ruling new patriotic party, especially looking at the fact that we have barely five months to the next general elections? From where I sit, it is not in uh, in the in the uh, in, in anything it's not anything uh, beneficial uh, that will accrue to uh, or anything that will improve their fortunes let me put it this way uh, government should shy away from things that will push people to the street or and uh, make people resort to what strike and demonstration especially from the labor fronts you don't want to experience that because the more you do that the more pressure you bring to bear on the political system and the more that such message, you know, go to affect uh, voter choices and voter preferences. So uh, government should be able to address this once, uh, once and for all, and then prevent others from happening. That means that government must do the need for by addressing the concerns of labor groups and associations within uh, the political sphere. Uh, if they don't do that, I'm afraid they will experience the other side of labor, which uh, will undermine their political fortunes. Mm.